right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. My name is Ryan. This is uh, uh, going to be a, a portfolio review of the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. This was kind of a kind of a strategic initiative of mine um, to explore a strategy that I thought would work really well, uh, coupled with the power of M1 Finance. So. I'll be providing uh, this link to the portfolio for you guys. You can click over there. Um, please uh, keep in mind that the Independent Investor Channel is affiliated with M1 Finance. If you click on any of the links on any of my social media content, the uh, channel will receive a small compensation uh, for, uh, for my referral of a product. It's a product that I use um, and I really, really like. And as you can see, there's a reason to like it. Um, I'm making money. And again, this was one of those portfolios that I kind of wanted to generate to prove to people that it's not so daunting uh, and not so unachievable to make that first $10,000 milestone. Um, I did it in this portfolio in 15 months. Um, now we're moving on and we're going for that $25,000 um, and we're, we're over halfway there. And, and this is um, becoming real. Um, in this, I want you to really focus on some of the areas and emphasis in the portfolio that don't get a lot of attention normally and, and pay particular attention to how those are performing. So for all those investors out there that are really just trying to stock pick the market and, and, and try to pick those hot spots, I think this proves that it's a very futile effort in that while you're doing that and you're paying attention to the hot stuff, the stuff that nobody's paying attention to is going to render some profits. And if you really hear my message and see what's validated through the course of this review, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about, guys. So uh, with that, we'll kick you into the portfolio review and um, and uh, we'll we'll show you what we're working with. All right, guys, so this is one of the most enjoyable portfolio reviews that I do on the channel. This represents a lot more than just the dollars in the, in the, in the account. It represents a portfolio that I built to, to provide re really some motivation for people, um, some encouragement that they can get to their first $10,000 invested and they can do so passively. And this account has done that and then some. This is... Uh, a very very interesting way it's a hybrid strategy that I deploy um, for for the sheer sake of dollar cost averaging it over time uh, and keeping it 100% passive what that means is <clears throat> I set this and I forget it I don't do anything to it other than add more money to it uh, every two weeks um, I do a funding schedule on this account of uh, $50 every two weeks is where we are on this account, this does render some dividends, as you can see here. I think I'm due to be paid those dividends here coming up. That's a nice little payout as these accounts or these uh, funds actually grow and they get bigger. The dividend payouts grow incrementally. Um, but you can see here by doing absolutely nothing. Now, this has been a conducive market. I do acknowledge that. However, um, I'm not going to apologize for this either. Because I think there's way too many people out there that can come and they can look at this strategy here and say, that's for me. Um, if you want to pursue the, the fly by the night, get rich overnight type of avenue, may, maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't know. I'll let astute uh, investors and, and, and people who are looking for reality make that call on their own especially when they make their way to a social media opportunity and um, there's all kinds of different strategies being sold. Um, make no mistake on the Independent Investor Channel, I'm not looking to sell you on anything. Um, this is what I do. This is what makes sense to me, and this works. Um, you want to deploy a strategy, you can do so by catching a testimonial my bit video. Do so. I wish you all the best in the world. Um, but the proof is in the numbers. And, and being up $3,700 on a fairly light uh, portfolio, you know, that this is getting sizable. But the inflows to this account at just over $10,000 by doing absolutely nothing, I'm not trying to beat the market. 
I'm not trying to find the next best thing. I'm not trying to find that next moonshot stock. Um, I invest in this and I forget it. And it's worth repeating because, again, I think there's a lot of people out there that are drawn to the stock market for all the wrong reasons. If you're catching this video and you're seeing these returns, this should motivate you for all the right reasons. It really should. Owning the 11 sectors, very simple, passive investing. Since March 5th of 2019, we've done nothing but win in this portfolio. So we'll go over the holdings as I cruise down here. You can see here, slightly leaning and increasing to the right. That's what we want on the stock charts going forward. Um, this is great. You know, if the market does turn on us and, and start to retrace, um, the portfolio will suffer a little bit. That's totally fine. I'm ready, waiting for that to happen. And when it does, I'll basically buy the market. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm, I'm providing no additional capital to this outside of what I uh, dollar cost average on this. And if the market doesn't cooperate, then I'll manufacture capital within this. It's, it's winning in either market. You're win winning in an up market and you're winning in a down market. It just makes sense to me and hopefully it makes sense to you guys. So the way I've structured this portfolio is very simple. I, I will premise this. This is a not a common way of entering into the stock market. It, it, it was a way of grabbing all of the sector specialty ETFs uh, and doing so in a manner that made sure that I had access to all of them. I didn't want to omit anything in this. I wanted to have access to all of them. There was a reason for that. If technology took, took off and, and materials took off, but I tried to pick healthcare and financials, well, then I would miss out. Sector rotations happen all the time where the runaway sectors, which at the moment right now uh, are in technology, the, the, those, those will cool off eventually. No sector stays on fire for forever. Um, they'll cool off. There will be profit taking. There will be sector rotations, especially with some of the big institutions that have big swaths of stock in each of these respective sectors. And they'll be looking to always take advantage of those sectors that are out of favor as well. Uh, case in point is energy, which has caught fire here as of late. And then you start to look at some of these underloved sectors or, or definitely underweight uh, in accordance with the S&P 500 weighting. But there's some good companies in, in materials. And so I wanted to have exposure to all of them. And this allows me to grab some exposure but control that exposure with the level of allocation that I build here in the M1 Finance portfolio, right? So this portfolio I do share openly through the channel. Um, you can see here we're, we're, we're 11 for 11. All the sectors are up. Um, I don't know if that's attractive to some people or not. I don't know. If this isn't good enough for you, um, certainly I wish you all the best of luck trying to stock pick the stock market. Um, traditionally, those types of efforts have proved to be futile, but if you think you're going to be the one, knock your socks off. Um, this has done nothing but make money, and I won't apologize for that. This is a great way of seeking exposure to the market, and I do so coupled with the power of M1 Finance to fund this up and have the dollars distribute over the portfolio the way that I've allocated or asked it to be distributed. These are serious dollars here, 761 on the top end for technology, 412 in healthcare, 449. These are big returns for re a relatively small amount of money, okay? Um, industrials here at a $350 bill, holy moly. That's some big returns right there, guys. 568 for a $1,200 bill in consumer discretionary, I'll take it. Not too shabby. Uh, 168 here on the returns, 140 on the returns, so that real estate and staples, and then down to utilities, 89.95. Look at these two. These are the bottom end, the two, uh, seven and six and six in materials. But I just want to bring your attention to this allocation. And it's funny, while so many people are looking at just the few stocks of the stock market that get all the headlines, Look at how well these have done. On a relatively low amount of money, energy is up $250. That's a 25% return since starting. 
Look at telecommunications up $289.02 on an $850 investment. And finally, the smallest amount of capital invested here with a 242% return or $242 return on this is insane, guys. And these are the pockets of the market that often get forgotten. And this is why I allocated to this. Why? It's structural investing, okay? It's structural in that I knew by nature of the plan that I put in place I would make money. It had nothing to do with me going after materials or trying to time communication services or trying to catch a bottom in energy. It had nothing to do with any of that. This really speaks to the philosophy and belief and what I have on how important it is to acknowledge the plan. And this does nothing but prove to investors, both uh, experienced investors and beginning investors, the passive investing does indeed work. What I'll always say is that the bottom line about investing is money. And if this isn't good enough for you, again, if, if $3,700 return off of a $10,000 portfolio um, that's less than or going on two years old is not good enough for you, I wish you all the best. But for those investors out there that are looking for a program, guys, this can apply to the masses. Anybody can do this. There's nothing special about this. You can deploy, put money to work in this with as little as $500 starting tomorrow. Piece of cake. Anybody can win with this strategy, and quite frankly, that is a strategy that I resonate with and put through the Independent Investor channel because most people can succeed with it. With that, guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the portfolio review. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's, it's awesome. The portfolio is just killing it. It's doing really well. I think the real takeaways uh, for these is to understand those pockets of the market that get all too often overlooked. And, and I think that's unfortunate. Um, number two, I really think you need to understand that I've done nothing. Uh, once this portfolio was established, all I've done was fund it. That's it. I look for my strategic spots. If the market's down, I buy. If not, I let it work. Very, very simple. This is a philosophy that uh, anybody can uh, resonate with. Anybody can participate in. If you like the way that I've allocated, great. If not, it can be adjusted to your liking. Uh, and anybody can start in this portfolio with as little as $500. Very, very simple. Um, I think you could probably do $100, but you start to get a little watered down when you start to get too cute with it. And anybody who's serious about investing should be able to get up to a, a $500 marker um, and, and start on their investment journey. Uh, other, otherwise, you need to do more research and validate why it is you wealth build. Um, I can talk till I'm blue in the face, but I've already made those validations for myself many, many moons ago. Guys, if you appreciate the message, man, you want to make sure and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video uh, and share the video with anybody out there that uh, we can, you know, we can help bring them on to the message. Uh, we'll help them out, get them uh, excited about the prospects of investing because they are indeed very, very exciting. Guys, thank you so much again for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.